Coach Maddox. I guess I haven't uh, talked to you since you've gotten here. I guess this might be, uh, I don't know what the question will be, but just how's your adjustment to Lake Charles and coaching in McNeese been for you? Uh, well, it's been a great adjustment. I mean, you know, getting here in January and really, you know, you're hitting the ground running, getting those guys working out and, uh, you know, being out on the field with them as much as you can in the weight room and that type of stuff. So, you know, from that position, it was really just the, the different transitions from there to spring. And, uh, you know, it's been great getting around the community. If, you know, got, got family friends that live here and, uh, you know, having my wife and kids here now, we've, we've settled down personally and uh, it just makes it easier to, to be able to include the fellows and everything a little bit more at the house and things like that. What's it been like? Because I know you've, uh, you've always, have you, is this your first uh, time being an offensive coordinator? Yeah, well, I mean, if I guess it would be technically way back, Coffeeville was okay. at one time too. But yeah, so this this would technically, you know, like my first time at a you know FCS or FBS program. So sure. what so what's that been like? I know you've been an offensive line coach before for a, for a long time. So what's it been like adding that offensive coordinator position to your title? Well, the great thing is with the relationship, you know, with Coach Gilbert and I, uh, you know, we, we we have that kind of understanding of you know what our roles are and what we need to do when it comes to to game plan and that type of stuff. So you know, my first you know primary focus when I got here in the spring and and really all through camp now is still just developing the offensive line. Uh, you know, I I obviously am going to be controlling the offense and, and, and bringing those guys together and doing that. But you know, my biggest focus right now has been on the offensive line and, and, and making sure that we get the best five out there for you know for our offense to be successful. Uh, I notice sometimes at practice, like at least during Indies, they, um, I guess you and Coach Shea will kind of split up. And I guess, I, can you explain it? I yeah. think I know what it is, but I don't want to take a guess. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it, what, the great thing about having two guys on the offensive line is just, you know, it's about getting quality reps during practice. So, you know, Coach, Coach Shea's been in a bit with me. You know, we worked together in 2013, and uh, you know, we've got a great, uh, you know, working relationship. And so, being able to split those guys up, whether it's one day with tackles, tight ends, or right side, left side, uh, and giving those extra eyes out of practice, it's just it's able to get more instant feedback to our fellows. So it's tremendous when it comes to our individual time and, and during practice as well. And when it comes to the offensive line, you know, I know you weren't here last year, but um, you know, it was a, a lot of struggles for various reasons, injuries and everything. Um, what's it been like for you developing the O line? I know there's a lot of offensive linemen this year. What's it been like, kind of working with them and developing? Well, the first off, they're a great bunch of guys to be around. I mean, that's the thing. You know, this whole team's awesome. And the guys to be around on a daily basis is great. But, you know, personally, my line room's great. They, they come to work every day. We've got great leadership with Grant Bergillis and, and, and Blaze Driver and Zach Jones. And, uh, you know, Trey Newton, some of our seniors that have been through it. And, you know, seeing action, and so that was just, uh, you know, our, my way to, to kind of challenge those guys to help, you know, push the young guys to set the standard to, you know, leave this place better than, than when you got here. And so, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a good transition with those guys. I'm excited that, you know, I, I love going to work with them every day, and, and, and I think the best is, is yet to come with all those guys. Uh, how close do you feel that you are to, I guess, having a starting five for August 31st and maybe, you know, your two or three kind of top Replace, replacements. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're feeling pretty good right now as far as a, you know, we, we've got a few different lineups that we've been rotating around trying to get the best matchup. And, you know, we, we after the first scrimmage, obviously this is a big learning time for us to, to make that next step. And, and this week, I think, is where guys have to just step up this week in camp. It's time to go. And uh, we're going to see who can really start separating themselves. And, uh, you know, we'll keep mixing and matching until we feel like we got the, 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 right, the right shake down up front. And then uh, hopefully we can just lock that in and move forward. When it comes to, you know, preparing, you go against a defense like this that has so much talent. Just what's the benefit? I know it's probably not always fun for you guys, but just right. what's that benefit of going up against a defense like this? Well, that, that's you're right. I mean, that's the thing I tell our guys. We, we get some of the best work on a daily basis than, than a lot of guys get, you know, throughout the conference and throughout the country. And so... You know, our guys are there to our D line makes us stay on you know stay on point. We can't mess you know we can't mess around with technique and fundamentals. We we can't you know miss a call because of how good they are and, and what they provide. So they they make us work our butt our butt off up front and, and and I love the fact that they make us have to show up every day and give our best or, or they'll expose us. So that's how we're going to get better up front and, and I'm excited. You know our guys have, have stepped up to the challenge and we're just having them to you know trust them and. and, and and challenging them to be, uh, you know, consistent with that, you know, stepping up and, 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 and battling those guys. When it came to uh, choosing a quarterback, you know, um, I know Coach Gilbert, he works most closely with him, but uh, what during the summer, I know he said, is when he chose Cody to be the starter. Um, I guess, 
what from your view made him the right guy to be the starting quarterback? Well, obviously, you know, starting, you know, you're looking for the guy who can who can control and, and run this offense to be, you know, that's going to stay calm and, you know, during you know, chaotic situations and things like that. So, you know, we got a chance this spring to really run the full gamut of the offense and, and do everything that we needed to do. And then you saw his leadership qualities really step up even more this summer. And, uh, you know, getting guys to come out and come work out. You saw the workouts in the morning. He was stepping up and leading and taking control of the offense. And, and, and that's the thing you're looking for, you know, not only with the offense and running it, but being able to rally troops and being able to get guys going, whether we've had a good good drive or a bad drive, you know, being able to get guys to respond. And, and he's done a great job with that throughout the summer, and, you know, expanding out his leadership roles. Um, I guess I want to specifically ask about the offensive line, but also as the, off the offense as a whole. When it comes to the conditioning, obviously you guys are going to want to run a ton of plays. Um, you know, it's been what, about a week, week and a half of camp. Just how do you feel about the level of conditioning and getting, being able yeah. to get as many plays off as you want? Well, the first thing they did a great job was this summer was just getting them themselves in the best conditioning they've been in probably in their life. And, and we knew that was still going to be a transition from, from summer to, to putting pads on you know, practice-wise, and so, you know, we always know there's that little transition after your first scrimmage, and uh, it's really about how you adjust to that, how your body recovers to that, and, and, and then now we can expand on it with more and more reps throughout the scrimmage, but the conditioning part of it for us is something we stress, the hydration, uh, we're going we're gonna to be able to that endurance, we got to be able to outlast people. We got to be physical longer than people, and so you know, it's just a mentality from beginning to end. Whether it's weight room, whether we're out running, whether we're at practice, whatever we're doing, it's something that's constantly being you know driven home to our fellas. Uh, I don't know, you know, do you guys have an idea of? Uh, when you go from kind of just camp where it's like working against the uh, your guys' defense to we start preparing for Southern, is there like a time where you guys have figured that out yet? Yeah, you know, I don't know if we've really narrowed that in. I mean, obviously, that, that, that's the advantage of your first game. You're going to get more time to, to, to focus on your opponent than probably, you know, any other time throughout the season just with how the, the schedule works. So, you know, we're going to make sure that we give ourselves plenty of time to, you know, get that we feel really comfortable about the Southern game plan and everything that our guys are doing because you know at the end of the day it's about our fellows and if they can execute the game plan without thinking then you know everything's going to go go a lot better so we'll, we'll make sure we have plenty of time uh, you know we'll make sure we're back fresh and ready to go for for that game and uh you know we're excited for when we do make that switch and then finally um i know you guys work got those guys in the spring but the the newcomers that came in the to start fall camp, be it, you know, transfers or freshmen, just how have they been? I guess, is there anybody that you can say has stood out to you in these first few practices? Yeah, uh, you know, we've, we've gotten a chance to, to see a couple guys, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, a couple, you know, a receiver, we had a couple running backs that were able to get in and, you know, uh, Bonnet's been out there. He's been able to make some plays when, when, when he's had his opportunity. You know, you got Mack and Hicks that have also, you know, offensively have, have been able to get out there and provide us with some some extra some extra you know knowledge of the offense with Mack, with what what he provides coming from South Florida, and then um, you know with Hicks and the speed and the things that we, those guys can provide. So, you know, as they're learning and as they're they're getting the you know the technique and fundamentals down, we just look for those guys to, to, to continue to be a bigger and bigger part of what we've got going forward.